How's everybody doing today? <laughs> this is Minecraft in time. Turn Minecraft up. Oh, why? Why am I? Why is sitting like this feel weird? What was it? Sorry, I'm stretching. One second. I need to stretch. Okay. Um, this is the Sonic Rush soundtrack. This is Sonic Rush. <laughs> And I love this soundtrack. It is one of the most underrated soundtracks of all time. <laughs> Everybody talks about Sonic soundtracks being great. Everybody knows Sonic games have good music. But I... Everyone always plays the same, like, three soundtracks. <laughs> it's always, like, Sonic... And, so, not Sonic Advance. It's always, um... Sonic Adventure 1 and 2... And then whatever the most recent modern game is. That's always what Sonic game soundtracks are always on rotation. Not that I have anything wrong with those soundtracks. But. There are some bops hidden. That people just don't play. Not to mention this is just a lesser played Sonic game. Um, but this is one of my favorite Sonic soundtracks. I adore the Sonic Rush soundtrack. Um, it's done by the guy who did the music for Jet Set Radio. What's his name? You know, everybody's favorite music composer. What's his name? <laughs> it's a great way to start it. Um, yeah, it's, uh, he's the one who does all this, all this game soundtrack. It's awesome. Um, but I decided, because I've been, I've been, dip, I've been doing a little bit of dip, dibble dabble. I know a little bit of dibble dabble off stream in the game. Um, and I, mainly I just built a few farms and stuff. Nothing too interesting. But a lot of the things that I want to start doing are going to require us to do a lot of traveling. And you guys may have noticed, I don't really travel that much. In Minecraft. And that is mostly because, um... It's mostly because I just don't care about doing that. Um... But yeah, I'll just show you. I built this. We're on the roof of the nether, by the way. Um... You just clip through the roof using, like, ender pearls. You just clip through it. A little janky, but it works. This is a gold farm. Um, it's it, it's it's in a functional state. It's not perfect. Um, I need to replace that with magma blocks. Um, because if I replace the ground with magma blocks, it uh, will only spawn zombie pigmen. And then the other thing I need is uh, turtle eggs, because turtle eggs uh, aggro zombies towards it. But that's all. And then I built a little piglin trading area down there. And then there's a chunk loader for the ice farm that we built on stream. That's all I've really done. Um, so not like too much. Just a couple farms. But I want to start hunting for turtle eggs. Because that'll be useful. I want to find a desert. I want to find glaciers. I know we have an ice farm and I love it. But like it's not, it's not going to be enough ice. I built it mainly for fun. Um, so, I think today, the plan is going to be to go fight the Ender Dragon. I decided I finally want to get that done. Um, let me just make sure we have everything we need in our inventory. I try, I try to get ready for these things ahead of time because I know it's not entertaining to watch. And it doesn't really take me long. So we have... Arrows, a bow, sword, shovel, pick, bucket, shield, blocks, food, armor. I made potions of swiftness and potions of slow falling. Um, this is mainly just for when we're running around getting to the to the place. 
And then this is gonna be for uh, when we're fighting the dragon. It's useful. It's also useful for whenever you're um, raiding end cities. I think we're ready. I think we're gonna wait until uh, we can sleep and then get time to pass. But I think that's everything we need, right? I also have three different kinds of arrows. I don't know why I chose to do three different kinds of arrows, but I did. So we're rocking the arrows of poison, we're rocking the spectral arrows, and we're rocking regular arrows. I figure why not. In fact, we could probably put away the regular arrows. I think we got plenty of... I think we got plenty of fun arrows. So we'll, we'll do that. Um... Oh, this song is also catchy. Uh, no, I said we're waiting. <laughs> While I was like crafting stuff, I accidentally threw my first uh, thing and it showed us over here. So we're gonna go that way in the morning. Um, but I'm excited. After we beat the dragon, we'll probably I guess it depends on how long it takes us. I don't know where it's at. Um, we'll probably just work on decorating some stuff. And all that. I need to finish destroying those buildings. Maybe we'll do that. I don't know. We'll see. We'll either decorate or tear down those buildings or both. Um, I mainly want to tear down those buildings just so that way we can put down new buildings that like actually match all of the ones we've been putting up. This area is starting to look nice now that we're getting um, these buildings of like the same type in, of like the same block palettes and such. I think it looks really good. Um, but yeah, this is, this is one of my go-to Sonic the Hedgehog soundtracks. Sonic Rush. Uh, the other one, if you want another one that I really recommend, Sonic R. Like, I know, um... I know everyone knows that Sonic R has, like, good music, but most people haven't heard beyond, like, uh... Beyond the meme song. What is it? Can You Feel the Sunshine? Most people don't know many of the songs past that one. Um, that's another one I... Highly recommend. I think it's cool. I was checking something. Okay, we sleep. Alright, uh, what direction are we heading? Let's go. Probably should have these on the hot bar because we're going to be throwing them. Let's just get some distance covered. Also, just before this wears off, I want to see how this goes. How does swiftness stack in the base? I don't think it stacks. Okay, that's fine. This is only swiftness one, so we won't be as fast as we are in the base, but it, I made it last longer, and you can't make it swiftness two and last long, so. That's a hole. Uh, that's another hole. Okay, be careful. <laughs> oh boy, watch out for that. Right, 
Let's keep moving. Oh, it's just so nice to have a swiftness potion whenever you need to cover ground like this. I love me a good swiftness potion. What I need is a work pick, because I think I'm bringing, like, which one? Yeah, this is my Silk Touch pick. Which, now that I think about it, probably should have brought the Fortune pick instead. Um, because you get a lot less use out of uh, Silk Touch. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. We don't need it. We don't need to worry. This is a cool area. Oh shit. Uh, oh, there's lava. What a cool little, little divot there. This terrain's neat. I don't think we've ever gone over here before. Once we do get wings, once we get wings and rockets, we'll probably get around, uh, probably get around a bit more. Because we need to build a creeper farm soon, too. Okay, we're still going up the mountain. Down break. That one broke. Damn. Unlucky. And that's why you make a bunch of extra. Because I don't like that. Oh no, we've been over here. I've seen that village. We're just like slightly off from the direction we entered last time. But I don't think we went past the village very far. Hello, animals. This is a very nice area too, honestly. This is nicer than where we chose. This lake is really cool. This is like the perfect spot. If I knew about this before we chose our spot to build our base, I would much rather build it out here. This spot is perfect. You can build like a little, uh, like a little fishing shack here with the water and stuff. It's nice. going this way really you're gonna break again that's two in a row yeah yeah yes yeah, squid We should eat. This is also why we brought backup food, because running around makes it go fast. Even with high saturation. Is that another village? Another village. Maybe we did go a little farther. I don't remember where we've been and where we haven't been. Yeah, 
I didn't even see where it went. Oh, okay, over here. Does that mean we're getting close? Whoa. That's a gaping hole. That's cool. Okay, it's going this way. Cool, dripstone. Alright, let's go, let's go around. I thought that was copper for a second and I was really confused. It's like I didn't know copper spawned like that. There's a does it. There's water, you dingus. You dingle brain. Oh, come on. Let me go up. <laughs> Let me up. God damn it. I want up. I want uppies. Pump, 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 pump. We're getting pretty far out here. We gotta be getting close. It's getting dark. It's raining. Who of you would do this? May as well. Okay, we're not going in there. It's too dark. Can't see shit. I'm gonna turn up the brightness. Not for me, but for y'all. So that way you can see better. Because I'm pretty sure it comes through darker. Very nice out here. I love how rain looks with these resource packs on and stuff. This is some nice rain. <laughs> oh, okay, that wasn't that bad. Thought we were about to die. Oh, we're still going. Okay, keep on adventuring. That's your face. This is the exact kind of thing that, like, I would want my Ender Pearls back for. Bump, bump, bump. Yeah, I don't... Even then with shaders, I'm kind of like, I don't want to, like, overkill them. When I'm picking my shaders, I'm very careful not to, like... I don't like it whenever my Minecraft looks very different from how Minecraft would look for anyone else. So like my, I do use like a resource pack, like a texture pack. Um, and this is my first time really like dedicating to sh shaders. I've dabbled around with them before. It's so dark, I can't even see. Um, it makes the dark very dark. There we go. Um, but like, I, I try my best with like my texture pack in my um, all that stuff to make it very vanilla. Um, just cause like, I don't know. There's something about like 
I want my game to look the same as if someone else came in there and looked at it with the default settings. I want it to look for the most part the same. So everything I I set up is usually that's that's usually my intended uh, setup I go for is I want it to look vanilla but like a little nicer. Okay, is it? Going this way. Saw a creeper over here. Yeah, I see you. Oh, it's an Enderman. Enderman. Rain and nighttime is quite the combo. Is this another portal? Oh, I thought it was lit for a second. I was like, what? Well, I'll take these. May as well. Uh, hey, those got mending. We'll take them. This is a big ass portal. Gold is valuable. I never have enough gold, even though I have a gold farm now. It's not automated, though. How do we get down from here? We don't. <laughs> Sweet. Ow, ow. Were we heading west before? Are we going the same direction? Man, I got spun around at some point and I don't know what I don't know where we came from. No magic shovel man. Ooh, we got his magic shovel. What, what is this? Efficiency one iron shovel. That's nice. And this is a terrifying. Cool. Hi. Ho. Oh. Ho. Oh. Okay, we're going over here. See you. you back off. Nothing drains hunger faster than taking damage. Yeah, we're getting close. We're we're way high up, by the way. We're on top of plateau. We're gonna have to dig for a good minute. I am not looking forward to. Fuck, this is a it's spider jockey. What the heck? God damn it. Stop attacking. Let me find my thing and deal with my stuff in peace. I don't know where I went. Is it going down? Let's see. Yeah. Okay. So that that one it's here. That creeper. Will you let me? I'm trying to do some puzzling. This is very hard to, for me to do while I'm trying to fight for my life.
Okay, yep, we're gonna go down here. Stop! We're going down right here. I think we found it. We just gotta go down quickly. I don't know why I brought a shield. I'm never gonna use it. I always try to get myself to use shields, but I just, ooh, it never goes well. nervous about this. Oh, that's not. Alrighty. Yeah. No. Get that sweeping edge. Spawn. Man, I almost just went off on an adventure because there's so much cool shit here, and I'm like, no, we're here to dig. We're here to go down. It's so shiny. I this this uh, these shaders have like glowing ores, and it makes it so tempting to just run around anytime you see uh, anytime you see anything. Really, you're just like, ooh, goodies everywhere, and I need to resist. I wonder if we passed it. We're getting pretty low. Nope. There it is. <laughs> Alright, we're in. We are in. We're gonna mark this. It's where we came in from. We found it. Sweet. Um, I'm gonna write. <laughs> we found the portal. Yay! <laughs> I'm gonna write this down on my sticky note. Cause it's good to know the coordinates. Uh, this is negative 528. 15. Depth is important for this. Negative 1,901. And that is the stronghold. Yeah, so this is like almost like 2,000 blocks away. It's a bit of a walk. Which is why we will at what some point probably set up a, uh, set up a thing and all that. I guess we just do this now, right? I don't care about the silverfish spawner. I'm breaking it. I hate silver shit. Shil shil silverfish. Silver sh silver sh fish. A nice portal thing. Bing bong bong. Bing bong bong. Bing bong. Bing bong. Oh, 
Okay. That looks really cool. That looks really cool. All right, we got one of these ones. That's fine. Gotta dig our way out. Yeah, like an infinity mirror and beyond. Those are so cool. Infinity mirrors are very entertaining. Ooh, Aurora Borealis. All right. All right, chat, it's gamer time. We have everything we need. We should probably drink our potions. First potion, slow falling. The dragon likes to knock you up. And swiftness, because why not? Alright, let's do this. Um, I really like how this setup makes the end look. It's a lot more pleasant on the eyes. I'm a terrible shot with a bow. Just a heads up on that. Alright. We'll just start with this one and then we'll go around in a ring. Alright, first up, dirt block. Don't need to hold torches. Old food. See, and that's why we have slow falling potions. <laughs> okay, good, good, good. Oh shit, I should have um kept my bottles that way I could. Bottle up the dragon breath. That's actually useful for stuff. Okay, let's go. Hey, rude. Hey, TRM. Hello, hello. We fighting the dragon. I decided it's about time for us to get this over with, so that way we can get an elytra and stuff. Hey, hey, no. <laughs> Oh, 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 okay, don't stand in the dragon breath, I thought I could dig that out faster, fuck off, but yeah, how you doing, welcome, welcome, we got the Sonic Rush soundtrack going, you know, you know me, it's a classic, Stupid dragon deleting my blocks. The murdering stuff part of Minecraft? Yeah, I do a surprisingly little amount of that. I'm a, I'm a relatively uh, peaceful player. Mm, too high. No! Alright, let's go back up. Ignore my stupidity. There we go. Rude. Uh oh. Oh, that's a really good uh, thing that she did there. Oh, all my blocks. Shit. Well, if we wind up needing those. Oh, well. Okay. Up. Minecraft is good. Ah, whoa. Wait, 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 wait. Ha! Oh. Ah, damn. <laughs> hey, Minecraft's a good game. It's 
new PC. Ooh. Yeah, a new PC would make Minecraft exciting. You can do a whole lot more with a good PC. My PC is okay. I have a pretty all right PC. I'm using a mod pack called Fabulously Optimized, I think. Which optimizes the hell out of the game. Um, it also it also provides shader support, so. But like, I mainly installed this mod pack, uh, Fabulously Optimized, just for the optimization options. What the fuck happened? Oh, dragon flew into me. Got it. Okay. How many more of these do we- there's so many. Maybe I need to start doing arrow shots. But I love Minecraft. I think this game's fantastic. It's very fun. Can you guess what when this song plays in in this game? Can you guess when that little jingle plays? Oh, nice. How long does this last for? Two minutes still? Nice. Fuck it. Who needs to actually... Oh! Who needs to actually go there? Yo! Two in a row! Ah, shit. Okay, get down. Is my slow fall wearing off? What the hell happened? Oh, my slow fall wore off. Oh god, that's speed. <laughs> we almost just fucking threw this. Oh my god. Thank goodness, that's why I wear Feather Falling 4. <laughs> that was... Oof. I didn't bring any beds. I'm not doing like the cool speedrunner thing. We're just killing the dragon the old fashioned way. I'm, not, I'm very lame, I know. Play lame, win game. That's how I do it. Alright, that's all of them. I am amazed I made those shots. I had no idea if I was lining that up well or not. That's all of them. Yeah, that's all of them. I'm trying not to look at an Enderman. No, don't throw me in your goo. Okay. Oh, I didn't bring stuff to pick up the egg. Dang it. Normally, when I come fight the dragon, I like to, um... I like to bring, uh, what do you call it? sand or gravel for the pillars, because then once you get up to the top, you can just place a torch at the bottom and it breaks all of them. That's a good way of doing it, too. Ow! I poisoned myself! Fuck. Shid. Fard. Ow! What the hell, dragon? Ender pearls could be useful. Where, are, where is she at? There she is. Good. Good. Damn it. Right, she's coming around. Damn it. Stop turning. Okay. 
believe she got me to shoot myself. <laughs> it's so very disrespectful. <laughs> Doing that. Hate that. Okay. Shit. Yeah, that's right. Get over here. Get over here. Oops. <laughs> it's a little boink arrow. There's no healing crystals. I killed them all. Okay, uh oh. I need to move. Yeah, I'm moving out of the way of that. Before I poison myself again with poisoned arrows. Ma'am? There we go. Why can't I hit you? Oh, oh, I didn't even do it. I didn't even do it. That was not, that was not a bucket. Oh. Stop being immune to arrows. I'm too scared. Why can't I hit you? I'm afraid, I'm afraid. I don't wanna die. Fuck. <laughs> Put myself out. <laughs> I don't want to get launched again. My potion wore off. Do I have another one? I do have another one. Okay, drink another slow fall. What am I doing? No, we can use this. We can drink that. Oh, don't give me back the poison arrows. Hey, we're using spectral now. I like the spectral arrows, they're cool. There we go. Fucking hell. That, that almost went south real fast. Dragon head! Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I love this thing. Num, 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 num. Num, num, num. Okay, let's not face off in the distance and not know what I'm looking at. Ah! That's why! <laughs> Enderman knocked me into the portal. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. <laughs> that, almost, that almost went south. That almost went really south. I was panicking. <laughs> I almost died in the stupidest way. So I actually didn't want to go through the portal. I wanted to go hunting for end islands. <laughs> uh, but the Enderman said, get the fuck out. So... Is that yes? Can you see? Huh? I like this player. Yeah, whatever. Were you confused about your name? I wasn't confused. Okay, let's get out of F5. <laughs> F5 is dangerous. 
Yeah, we do have our dragon head still. It's nighttime. That's a lot of zombies. Why are there so many zombies at my door? Let me sleep. What are you doing? You can't get to them. Leave them alone. They should be fine, though. Yeah, they're all fine. I built this wall sufficiently thick enough. Damn it. Stop doing that. We did it! <laughs> okay, now what do we do? Let's put away all this crap in our inventory. Let's do that. My plan was kill the dragon today, and that's what we, we did do my plan. Uh, put away the gold, put away the gold, put away the gold, put away the gold. Is that a fortune hoe? That's a fortune one hoe, thank you. Thank you game for the fortune one hoe. Um, don't need this. Iron shovel, sure. Probably would make more sense to go in here, but whatever. I'm not gonna be too picky about organizing this stuff perfectly. All right, mob drops. I was going to be at first, but then I stopped caring. Um, I don't know, chicken, chicken a mob drop? Chicken's kind of a mob drop. Eye vendor can go in there. Bone. Actually, no, we have a place for bones. Bones and stones. You know what they say. Bones and stones. We good? There we go. And then... We want to put away these. I just have my unprocessed ores in here. My un, my un, de blocked ore block thing. My whatever you call it. It's my ones I need to take the fortune pick to. I'm just not in a rush. There we go. Um, shit, I, I don't know what I want to do now. <laughs> Let's tear down these houses. Let's get this all cleaned up and ready for us to come in and do our thing. We're going to build new houses. Better houses. Houses that actually match our setup. I have been keeping the blocks from tearing these down, too. But yeah, I think our next goal, we're not going to do it today, but our next main goal is to do some end island hunting. Get our, get our hands on some shulker boxes. Some shulker boxes as well as some... Uh, What do you call those things? Elytra? Uh, we need to build a creeper farm. Because we're gonna need gunpowder for rockets. Creeper farmers are really easy to build, so... Not gonna be that big of a worry about it. The question is, where do we build it?
because uh, if we build it closer to the surface and we build it like here, which I would like, so that way I don't have to AFK there, uh, the downside with the creeper farm would be we'd need to light, uh, with building it down here, would be we'd need to light up the area, light up all the dark caves that are in like our immediate vicinity. I guess we don't technically have to, but it would help our efficiency a whole lot. Because our rates might get kind of low at times if enemies are, like, spawning in caves and stuff. But, I don't know, I guess we'll see. This, song's, this song has grown on me a lot the more I hear it. At first I didn't know how I felt about this song, but I think as time has gone on, I've fallen in love with this song. It's a good one. Where is the glass paint? See, this is the one downside of my setup. Where the fuck is the glass? There it is. <laughs> In fact, yeah, break all of them first. Uh, just a creeper farm is gonna be nice for when we, uh, for rockets and stuff. And it's surprisingly easy to build a farm that only spawns creepers. Creepers are weirdly like they're like one in one in like point eight blocks tall. They're like the only thing that's that that's like not a full thing. Okay, we'll have to do something with that plot of land. They're not like a full two, unlike uh, things like zombies and skeleton. So like, whenever you want to build a creeper farm, you can just do like trap doors for the roof. And creepers spawn. I'm just gonna need to find a way to like push them off of the things, which isn't hard. There's like a bunch of options we can go for. I'll probably go for just good old fashioned water on a clock. And trap doors, that way they don't try to avoid it. Maybe I'll build that on stream, maybe I won't, I don't know. We'll see. I was debating on whether or not I wanted to play Minecraft or I wanted to play Myth Force today. <laughs> uh, I chose to play this. Uh, I wanted to play Minecraft. Uh, but I've been I've been dibble dabbling a little bit of Myth Force uh, off stream. Just some solo play. Um, I was playing it with Gambum Berry. The other day on stream if you missed that it was very fun we had a good time um definitely the getting into it was rough but once we got into it we were having a lot of fun i how is it solo uh solo i'm still having fun it's very simple um playing it solo like i definitely think the fun comes is meant to be playing it with friends but I'm still having a good time to just like kind of throw on a level and throw fireballs at a dude or throw lightning at a guy. Oh yeah, Todd joined too. How did I forget Todd was there? Listen, in my brain and the scheduling thing in our Discord, it was like me and Barry and then Todd joined. I was like, hey Todd! <laughs> it was very funny. I like, I love Todd. Todd's funny. Todd cracks me up. The Forgotten Todd. I don't forget Todd. I just did this time in this conversation. But yeah, Todd showed up too. It was fun. I don't know. I had, I had a good time. Um, but I played a little bit solo. There actually isn't a way to turn off multiplayer. So I just turned set it to friends only and then I've just been doing some solo runs like that because my friends who played it are usually not around when I'm around playing. Uh, just to get some solo play in, just have a good time with it. Uh, we can throw out the slabs. We almost got this all cleaned up. Uh, I don't have a hoe on me, so... I want to build, like, a little farmhouse over that direction, but I need to chop down a bunch of trees before we can do that. Probably should keep these hay bales. Oh, 
Oh no, I'm already picking up hay bales. Okay, good. I don't have the right tool for chopping down hay bales. It's a hoe you need. My hoes are in the chest, so. I don't know, I've been having fun with it. The onboarding was a bit of a rough experience, but. I've been, I've just been kind of like replaying the early stuff so that way I can learn what's going on and kind of like pick up the story that I kind of missed when I was playing with friends. Cause when I'm playing with friends and streaming, like my brain is like not gonna take in any like story or information that I'm given. I'm too busy having fun. I'm too busy having a silly time. So I've been, uh, we should go sleep. So that's, that's kind of what I've been replaying for is just to understand what was happening that I was not paying attention to. I love this song. I love this song so much. This version is very fun. If you're wondering if like why some songs play twice, uh, there's two different versions of each song in Sonic Rush. One for when you play as Sonic and one for when you play as Blaze. Because uh, Blaze originally came from Sonic Rush, not Sonic 06. Hey, Zizzy. Doing good. We killed the Ender Dragon. Yeah, exactly. There's only so much I can, like... There's only so much that my brain can pay attention to. Which is why, like, someone showed up in chat and was like, Hey, what level is your book? And I'm like, I have no fucking idea what I'm doing. Sorry, I, like... The time I normally spend learning the game, I've spent being silly and throwing fireballs and talking. <laughs> that was just me being honest when that person asked. I was just like, yeah, I have no fucking idea. I'm not- I have not taken any of this in. <laughs> But, um, yeah, now that I've been, like, playing a little bit off stream, I've been, I've been figuring out what stuff does and how it all works a little bit, a little bit better. I'm able to understand what I'm reading. Yeah, it, I'm not good at it. I'm very bad at splitting my attention across things. Um... Which is exactly why... I don't know where I was going with that. I don't know, it takes- it takes my brain. Sometimes I can't do it. <laughs> That's what I mean. Yeah, and learning a new game on top of all- exactly. Learning a new game of a type that I don't typically play. And by that I mean like first person. Like most things first person, I don't know what it is, just first person games don't tend to... Most of most the games that I see coming out that I'm like, oh this looks my thing, are just typically usually 2D. Or third person. Cause character aesthetic, you know that kind of shit. Crafting the mines here, yeah we are! We killed the ender dragon and I don't know what to do now cause that was my whole plan. So I'm finishing up something I started by tearing down all the... All the old remnant houses of what used to be a village here. And then we're gonna replace them with our own houses. Yeah, more like ended dragon, exactly. We almost died a few very dumb and silly ways. Uh, especially right there at the last moment. I wasn't planning on coming back to the overworld, but I did by accident. And it'll take us the rest of stream to get back there, so. I'm just like, fuck it, we're gonna tear down these houses that I've been meaning to finish tearing down. There we go. We're gonna we're gonna replace them with our own buildings. Um Yeah, we put it to bed. We can bring it back. We can bring the dragon back if we want. 
Oh, I already put the head away. Let's clean up our inventory a bit. We got a lot of crap in here. <laughs> the historic district. <laughs> yeah. No, our place is nice. Okay, what well, is that? Let's do this. These. A lot of wood we picked up. I need to like burn a lot of this. I don't know where I'm putting all this wool. I don't remember. I don't know how I have this organized. There we go. Let's go tear down this other building. I could show everyone what I uh, built off stream. I did a little bit of off stream stuff. That's what we can do after we tear down this building. It's nothing like cool, it's just a couple farms. One of which is not really completed. Man, our axe is flying. Holy shit, that animation. Has it always been going that fast while I'm like over here? <laughs> Why is it going so fast? <sighs> that haste two beacon, man, hypes you up like crazy. <laughs> Look at it go! Ah, shit. Okay, got that. Got this. Good. Oh. No, where is it? There it is. Nice. But now that we're like getting all of our shit up and going in Minecraft, we're getting so much done every time we stream now compared to before. Like I do really feel like we're, uh, we actually have a whole thing going. It only took like a long time. <laughs> I have a lot of hours in on this world. Uh, what's next? We were talking about Sonic R. Let's do Sonic R. I like this soundtrack. It's very good and underrepresented in people who play a lot of Sonic soundtracks. Okay, that's that last building. So there's all there's all the village buildings torn down. We can start building our own. That's something we also need to do. Like these farms here are not gonna be looking like this. We're gonna build around them buildings and stuff. This one here is gonna be the hard one because we can't use any solid blocks. Well, we can. We just can't. We have to make sure we cover them with something that things can't spawn on. Otherwise, the iron golems will spawn on there. You're strolling Twitter. Did they make a Boruto too? Uh, Boruto post time skip is like its own thing now. It's like called something like something blue something something the character designs look really cool I actually really like the uh, the the artist for I don't read Boruto I don't really care about Boruto at all Naruto ended and I'm like I'm good I don't need it anymore yeah two blue vortex um but I really like the character designs like 
I do really, I think the costumes that the characters wear are a lot more, um, I moved my portal over here, by the way. That's what I'm showing. I think the costumes in Boruto, um, they're just a lot more interesting. Characters feel like they're wearing fashion. Um, which is something that I think is lost in later half of, uh, Nart. But it reads as Boruto 2. <laughs> Boruto 2! Uh, Goruto. This is my trading area with the pigmen. I'm not wearing gold, so I gotta be careful. This guy will shoot you. You're not wearing gold. But this is just for like, you toss them gold, they toss you items. Um, I got a soul speed 2 book, that's really good. But that's, that's all this area is, if you toss them gold, they give you items. Uh, this is a good way of getting your hands on free fire resistance potions, string, quartz, gravel, fire charges, blackstone, soul speed books. It's the only place you could get soul speed books. Spectral arrows, obsidian, you get obsidian from them, soul sand, nether bricks, pearls, iron nuggets. You get a lot of good stuff from trading with these guys. So that's all this area here is for, is I, ca I captured these guys, gave them name tags. Um, and that's all these guys are. Boru 2. Yeah, I watched all of the me. I got Crunchyroll to watch me and Robico as it came out. I like the me and Robico anime. It's very funny. Um, it definitely isn't as good as the manga. It goes at like the most rapid fire. Pa I don't know what the hell is up with that pacing. The, the they feel like it, reading me and Ro or watching the me and Robico anime. It's like three minute long episodes, so it's like one of those type of shows. And as a result, with the me and Robico anime, it's dark. Ooh, nice move. Um, all the characters and all the scenes play out like everyone just did like 13 Red Bulls. <laughs> um, they also just are essentially skipping any of the more like character growth, or not character growth, like character driven and more wholesome chapters and stuff in exchange for just focusing on the funnies. Which is fine, you only have three minutes. You're not gonna have the time to give those the time they deserve, so they just chose to like skip that outright for the funnies. Which I really think was the right choice um, for what, how limited they are. Uh, made me laugh a lot. I liked I liked the Mean Robocop anime. But like, it, I'm not kidding, the episodes are like three minutes long. <laughs> they, I don't think they're as funny as the manga because the pacing's all fucked up, but they still made me laugh. They still made me laugh. It's still very funny. Um, Robico is still a lovable, funny character. It's me and Robico, just the funny. Yeah, and I mean, to be fair, that's like 90% of me and Robico. Robo me and Robico is not like a, a drama with like stuff. But there is occasionally, they'll throw a chapter at you that like has a lot of heart to it in me and Robico. And that to me is like what really makes it like one of my favorite manga right now is like, it, it is just a dumb gag manga. But every once in a while, they'll throw you something to... To throw you something to make you care about these characters, um, and they just don't have the time for that in the anime. But it's very funny. It's just silly. Like it's 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 a type of humor that like I feel like anime isn't as keen and in leaning into in the current time. Uh, mainly because like it sticks with gag manga, and gag manga just aren't really the cool thing. Um. But like a lot of my favorite uh, comedies specifically are what I'm referring to are very silly. Um, a lot, cause like, I, have I, I don't know if I've talked about this before, but I feel like a lot of, oh right, I wanted to show you what I did with their old nether portal. Um, Dragon Ball style gag enemy where it's mostly funny. Yeah, exactly. Um, but like a lot of my favorite, uh, a, lot of, a lot of modern comedies tend to be like cute, girls being the primary focus <laughs> is cute equals funny. 
not exclusively. There, there's stuff like uh, the one about the psychic kid and stuff like that. Like, it's definitely not a blanket term I'm trying to use. Um, but, like, most of them are, like, cute girl, be silly, not even silly, be, like, relatable or cute and that equals funny. And I'm like, I have nothing against those kind of shows. Like, I love K-On! And I love, uh, I love a lot of those shows. But that's, it's not my favorite. And when it's, like, the main type of quote-unquote comedy, that's kind of my biggest problem. A lot of it's not comedy. It's just characters being endearing. Um, but there's been a rise. I think I think the idea of, like, silly, wacky, over-the-top, absurdist comedy. Azamanga Yeah, stuff like that. You know, like, moe, moe comedies. <laughs> we'll call them moe comedies. But, like, a lot of my favorite, my favorite anime and manga in general is stuff like, um, Sergeant Frog is uh, by far one of my favorite series ever. Um, me and Robico is up there. Uh, Dr. Slump, like, Shin-Chan. That, like, stuff like that just isn't as popular. I need to put away the bull. This is my gold farm. It's not automated fully yet. Um, I can't do that until I get, uh, gold. Or not gold, turtle eggs. So, usually what I'll do is I'll, like, wait for things to spawn just in another, while I'm doing something. And every once in a while, I'll just tab back into Minecraft. And yeah, you can see all these guys. And I'll just... Ah, ah, ah. oh, I scared myself. I didn't see her use me. I know nothing about it. I mean, I know, I know s s a little bit about it. I know it's but whatever, but... Okay, don't kill the pig man. If you hit one of them, they all get mad, and I find this very amusing. Because all the pig men aggro onto you if you hit one. And then I just have this set up here with trapdoors, to where they just walk in. And I don't know if you remember, we have Wither Roses down there. Um, Wither Roses we got like a few streams ago, of a few Minecraft streams ago. So quite a while ago in real life, but I, I'm finally putting those Wither Roses we got to good use. The Wither Roses kill them, and then there's just this whole hopper chain. Hey Shadow Mage, hello hello! And then all their drops come in here. Um, I, I recently took all my gold out to do a bunch of trading, that's why there's no gold in here, but there's there's a bunch of other drops. I did a little bit of trading with them in here as a joke, and then I was like, okay, I'm not trading with the guys in here, I'm gonna go build my actual trading area, and that's when I did that. I built the gold farm first. Um, I have a lot of rotten flesh. We can trade this for emeralds, though. So. Innocent pigment. There's zombies! They want to kill me. Ah! Oh. Well, he just did that to himself. Also, sometimes these guys spawn here. I didn't really, like, spawn proof it from, like, different types of mobs. Um, so it's not perfect. If you want to do this perfectly, use magma. Use magma blocks, that way only certain things can spawn. And do it in a different biome. Do it in a biome that only spawns the zombie pigmen. And that'll be... That'll be a lot better. Um, cause like, I don't have a way of luring the... The slimes, for example. How did you get over here? Uh, but yeah, I built this, just a gold farm. Um, if we put turtle eggs up here, the uh, zombies will automatically run over. So. That's the plan, is I want to get, once we get uh, the ability to fly around and stuff, I want to get, why do I have bamboo? I want to get, um, I want to get some turtle eggs here so that way I can run this AFK and just get a bunch of gold. How did 
did you get over here? Huh. Knockback one, that's a good sword. I like knockback swords, they're funny. But yeah, we built that. We're on top of the nether roof. And then the other thing I built is I have um, added onto our ice farm. It's very slow. It's very slow. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna point that out now. We need our boat. Where's our boat? The soundtrack's so good. Also, uh, this is still going. This has been working pretty all right. I haven't really been hanging out in the base, so this hasn't had too much time to run. So that's actually pretty good output on the sugar cane, because I have not been hanging out in the base area. I've been hanging out in the nether and other places, so. This isn't where I meant to go. I meant to grab a boat. My boats are over here. Boat. I'm nervous, like, do I, do I go? Is it gonna be dark? I don't want it to be dark. Okay. so fast I love I love how the boat ride looks these shaders were definitely a good idea there it is you can see the ice farm from here there's the ice farm we built I did a little addition to it and I've been AFKing at it a bit um, but I did install something to make it a, make it a lot better. Better water than most AAA games. True. Dude, for water is really hard. And yeah, we made it before it got too dark. Oh shit, I'm on the wrong side of the giant gaping hole. Yeah, it depends on what you want your water to do. Exactly. Because I mean, the thing with Minecraft water is you can make it look pretty because it doesn't really do much. I guess in a lot of games it doesn't do much, but... Sea of Thieves and Valheim. Sea of Thieves' water is incredible. I don't know if you ever heard them talk about how they made their water work, but it, their their water is like impressive. They work their ass off on their water. Yeah, you want physics and realistic? That good luck. Good fucking luck. And see if thieves did it. So this is what I built. Um, this is called a chunk loader. Um, and all it is, I know it looks scary, but it's not scary. Let me go into spectator mode. Um, all this is, is a series of droppers. And they're popping an item into the nether. And there's an and on the other portal on the other side of the nether, this is exactly the same. There's another one of these built exactly the same. Um, so it goes through the portal, it drops onto the ground, the hoppers pick it up, the hopper minecarts pick it up, load it into these droppers, loops it around, spits it back in the portal again. And then it drops on the thing, goes in the hoppers, go uh, in this realm, goes through, through the portal 
So all we're doing is just continuously passing an item back and forth between here and the nether through the portal. Um, and what this does is it keeps this area of the game loaded, even when we're not here. So while we've been off on our adventures and stuff today, the ice farm has still been running. Because normally when you get far enough away from here, it unloads and everything freezes and stops. Um, so because I built this chunk loader, now, until it breaks, uh, which it's easy to fix, you just throw a new item in. Um, anytime we're off anywhere in the world, this area here, like a, like a, what is it like? I think it's like a nine by nine chunk, like a three by three chunk are fully loaded. And then like a nine by nine or like half loaded. Uh, there's, there's some technical details behind it, but basically this, like just throwing an item back and forth in the nether repeatedly here in the nether is just keeping this ice farm loaded at all times no matter where we are so when we're off killing the dragon or when we're off building and we're off doing anything this is just very slowly our ice farm is just running um which is nice because it's very slow it is an extremely slow farm i i said that while we were building it on stream like this is not meant to be efficient i just wanted to build it um, and I really like it. I think it's cool. But yeah, that's the main addition I made here is I added a chunk loader. Which I think is doing a good job. Oh, yep. See, we can see it fire off. Boom. Pushes it down. This line goes forward. And then this line goes forward. And then this line pushes upwards. So. Yeah, I just think that's cool. And it slowly fills up. There we go. Um, But I think we're going to call it here for today. I think that was a good stream. We had some fun. Um, so I'm going to be busy the next two days. I need to clean, I need to finish deep cleaning my apartment because I have company coming over the next day. So I don't know if we're going to stream tomorrow or the day after. I'm going to be busy. We might not. Sorry. <laughs> um, but thanks for hanging out. Um, I'll be back at some point. Uh, we'll play more games. Probably more Minecraft. Um... But yeah, I just figured if you're wondering where I'm at for them for a bit, uh, I'm just busy. I'm just doing stuff. It's good stuff too. It's just cleaning and all that. Who's going? Let's find someone to raid. But yeah, thanks for hanging out. Um, I'll try to like get stuff set up to where we can get a lot of a lot of fun stuff done. Um, Greg's playing Baldur's Gate three. Go say hi to Greg. I need to. I need to eat. I'm hungry. I need to get ready for work. Go say hi to Greg. Catch you next time. Take care. Bye bye.